using LOS Connect, very simple. Inside your Rhino or Rhino 7 based application, simply search for the command Paloise Connect. You'll be greeted by a login screen. The login will be provided to you along with a password on application. If you've forgotten your password, please use the forgot password link. It will instigate an email to us. And similarly, if you've downloaded this from Package Manager and you don't have an account and you do want one, you can click the sign up link um, or contact us otherwise. Once you log in, your pricing index will be downloaded to the system and you'll be greeted by the input screen. The input screen is not docked in Rhino, it's a standalone application, it can be moved on to a second monitor. Um, the usage is relatively simple. You are going to select your components you want us uh, per part or per alloy. In this instance, this ring we want to produce in two components, the head section and the shank section. So we're going to grab all the head components together. You'll notice it didn't bother deselecting the gems. The application will automatically remove them. When you click add part, it's going to produce a homogeneous mesh in the background. So it's already booleaned everything. It's produced a mesh ready for printing. Uh, this also allows us to get a very accurate weight estimate as there are no solids uh, intersecting with each other. So if you're happy with that amount of smoothing um, or, or that amount of meshing, then just press enter. Alternatively, on the command line, you can have a look at the options you're able to turn the smoothing on or off or ask for a higher resolution uh, definition between the parts. Otherwise, most of the time, just press enter. With the component in, you'll see that you now have an option of the various alloys that we cast in. You may have wanted this head in 18 karat white gold. Yeah, you've got a quantity of one. You'll notice that you have a manufacturing fee of $25. That includes the print fee and the cast fee. The weight of the component, the price of the material, and the total cost of the material. So it's, we do a similar thing for the shanks. We're going to grab all the shank components. We're going to add it as a part over there. Uh, I'm just going to press enter, quick review, make sure I'm happy with what we've got. I'm just going to press enter. The shank is in there. I'm going to select this in 18 white perhaps. Um, I had 18 white up the top, so I'm going to select 18 yellow for this item. And you will see that you have this time it's a slightly larger part, so you have a slightly larger print fee, your cast fee, the weight, the alloy price, and the total cost. When you're happy with this, click on order. Well, apologies, you can produce up to six parts per order. Just scroll down to add a few more. Once you're happy, click on order, order summary. You will be greeted by a, a preview of what's going to come into us. The Your Reference field will be on the main job ticket. This is the ticket that will be shipped out to you with your parts. So if you're producing this job for Mrs. Jones, this is where you may want to leave your customer reference on there. This will actually print on the part ticket for you and your job number, perhaps you have BC123. Um, the reference fields below are on a per part basis for up to the six parts. You may want us not to desprue, so no desprue. You may prefer to desprue this yourself, and you may not want to sandblast on this. So this is on a per part basis. You can leave us notes. These will actually print on our part tickets as they move through our manufacturing. This job has been placed directly into our backend. Uh, once you've confirmed that you're happy with the price and you've left all the notes you need, click on place order, confirm. You'll be greeted by an upload screen. That's Mary Cassetta and you will be given a reference number. So the reference number is what you would use if you go to call us. If you wish to track it, just click on copy order number. You will also receive an email after the data of this is concluded. Just copy that order number and you are done. That was it. You've just uploaded a job into our system.